I just feel like Felicity Huffman is a flipping genius, an unbelievable actress. I would just be watching her and I would forget my lines because she was so amazing. Felicity and I have such a strong connection. Marcia Cross and Ava Longoria praised their Desperate Housewives co-star during the recent Stars in the House online talk show episode. The actors talked about all the lasting friendships they've created while filming the series. But underneath it all, we were good friends and we still are today. But avoided touching more controversial subjects. Oh, we don't know, like the long-running tensions between them and the refusal to bury the hatchet. They're huge cat fights, but other than that, it's really going smoothly. Or Felicity Huffman's fall from grace. This morning, actress Felicity Huffman is waking up behind bars. Or major fallings out between some of the stars and Housewives creators. That's where Team Rumor Juice comes in. We'll provide you with all the desperate Housewives updates you oh so desperately need. Just don't hesitate to subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel. And let's find out what happened to our faves ever since the ABC hit show aired its last episode eight years ago. Buckle up, because it's going to be one hell of a ride down Wisteria Lane. Felicity Huffman's Scam Scandal The one face notably missing from the reunion was Felicity Huffman, who played the unforgettable Lynette Scavo. And if you're outside of that experience, like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Last year, her involvement in the nationwide college entrance exam cheating scandal was unearthed. And that's not the kind of media attention a movie and TV series star would want. For a long while, it seemed that Huffman's career would only soar higher post-Desperate Housewives. She starred in American Crime and was nominated for an Emmy three consecutive times. She appeared as real-life prosecutor Linda Fairstein in When They See Us. She was in movies like Big Game, Cake and Otherhood, and all of it was shattered in a matter of days. In March 2019, Huffman was charged by the FBI and U.S. Attorney General's office for paying someone $15,000 to pretend to be her daughter Sophia and take her SAT exam for her. Eventually, Huffman pleaded guilty to paying to have a proctor change Sophia's SAT answers, causing it to appear as if she got a higher grade. And thus, Huffman turned from a beloved award-winning desperate housewife into a Hollywood outcast. Here we are. The longtime wife of shameless star William H. Macy served 11 out of 14 days of her jail sentence, paid a $30,000 fine, and is now probably finishing up her 250 hours of community service. Not the best time to plot a Hollywood comeback. Terry Hatcher, the diva of the show. Nobody's judgmental, and you can just really be yourself. It's worth mentioning that Ava Longoria, who was Gabrielle Solis, and Desperate Housewives creator Mark Cherry submitted letters in Huffman's support. Longoria recalled how her friend stood up for her in the face of an unnamed on-set bully, and Cherry said Huffman still insisted on greeting a certain difficult actress every day, even if she knew there wouldn't be a response. Is it possible that Cherry and Longoria were talking about Terry Hatcher? After all, there's enough evidence to prove that not all cast and crew members of the ABC hit show got along. Oh, and by the way, Hatcher chose not to co-sign a letter in Huffman's defense. Similarly, she wasn't mentioned in a farewell card that came with a gift for crew members once the show came to its end. The card read, Thank you for a magical eight years. Love, Ava, Marcia, Felicity, and Vanessa. Yep, no Terry Hatcher in sight. I mean, you can't, you can't spend that many hours and that many years together and not see good days and bad days. A couple of years ago, Housewives Susan Mayer told Daily Mail that the separation between the cast might have been caused by their different priorities, with Terry having to focus on being a single mom and a breadwinner. Her daughter Emerson is now 22. Nevertheless, Hatcher said she cherished the magical chemistry between herself and her co-stars. There's just nobody else who could have brought those characters to life, Hatcher said. I have never ever wished any of them anything but greatness, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So what has the actress been up to since her Desperate Housewives days? We can see her in the short-lived CBS sitcom The Odd Couple and on CW Supergirl. The actress is an avid home chef and even won a special holiday celebrity episode on Chopped. She's also a YouTuber. Her channel, Hatching Change, focuses on healthy and positive attitudes. Nicolette Sheridan's Feud the third actress who decided to skip the Desperate Housewives 2020 online reunion was Nicolette Sheridan, aka Edie Britt, which is also not that surprising given how sour things turned out between her and the show's creator, Mark Cherry. Uh, it's surprising that they want to do that to actually uh, kill off one of the world's favorite characters on Desperate Housewives. She's um, definitely the most colorful. Sheridan was part of the original cast, but her character was killed off in the series' fifth season. The actress filed a $20 million lawsuit against Cherry and ABC Television, claiming wrongful contract termination, assault and battery, gender violence, 
discrimination based on sex, sexual orientation, and age, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Wow, quite a list. Add to this that Sheridan's four co-leads vowed to support Cherry and the original trial was deemed a mistrial. Since leaving Housewives, Sheridan appeared in Hallmark movies and the CW's Dynasty revival. Brenda Strong is going strong. There's another Desperate Housewives star who, like Terry Hatcher, joined Supergirl, and it's Brenda Strong. My name is Mary Alice Young. On Supergirl, she's the antagonist Lillian Luther. On Housewives, she was little seen but heard often. Her character Mary Alice Young's suicide kicks off the entire show, and her voice narrates the series. Strong has been everywhere from Netflix's 13 Reasons Why to Scandal, The 100, Fear the Walking Dead, and All Rise. The actress is happy in her second marriage and shares a son with her first husband. And did you know that Strong is actually a certified yoga instructor and fertility expert? And now an award-winning director, too. In 2019, she won the Best First-Time Filmmaker Award at the San Diego GI Film Festival. Ava Longoria is the busiest star. Who most of us here probably know as a Hollywood actress, but from the research that I've been doing, you're a whole lot more than that. I've never worked out so much in my life, Ava Longoria said during the online Housewives reunion as she was updating us on how she's been holding up while quarantined. And I cook a lot. I actually am Brie Vandekamp. Except Longoria played Gabrielle Solis. But that's how life works. You don't have to be your character. In the series, Gabrielle gave up her lavish New York life to live a quieter life with her husband. For Longoria, quieter life was never an option. She's been a busy lady in Hollywood and a new first-time mom as well. In 2016, she married the then-president of Televisa, the largest media company in Latin America. The couple met on a blind date, arranged by a mutual friend. In 2018, they welcomed their first son, Santiago. As for her career, Longoria appeared in TV series like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Empire. She's been in films like Low Riders and Dora and the City of Lost Gold. Longoria is well-known behind the scenes as well. She executive produced Desperate Housewives follow-up show Devious Maids and directed a number of episodes for Jane the Virgin and Blackish. As if that isn't enough, the actress turned into an activist and businesswoman. She has her own clothing line and has been a founding and very vocal member of the Time's Up movement. Marcia Cross overcame all obstacles. And now to the actual Brie Vandekamp or Marcia Cross. Why don't you all take your seats? Uh, dessert is about to be served. Unfortunately, she had to put her career on hold for a really terrible reason. In 2018, the actress revealed she had been battling cancer and was in remission. What makes it sadder, Cross's longtime husband Tom Mahoney was also diagnosed with cancer in 2009. Putting the disease behind her, Cross appeared in Law & Order's Special Victims Unit and ABC's Quantico. The mom of twin daughters is currently involved with a campaign called Feed Hero Nurses and helps nurses fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Vanessa Williams is powering through. The late but memorable addition to the Wisteria Lane residence, Vanessa Williams, starred as Renee Perry in The Desperate Housewives' final two seasons. TV show you can't do without. Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to say it. <laughs> the actress went on to star in TV shows like 666 Park Avenue and Daytime Divas, The Good Wife, Broad City, Modern Family, and The First Wives Club. Plus, she's now part of pop culture as the voice of Miss Brown, the brown M&M candy. In 2012, Williams and her mother Helen issued a memoir entitled You Have No Idea, where she discussed quite a number of her personal struggles. The actress is dealing with type 1 diabetes, was molested by a woman at the age of 10, and had an abortion while still in high school. She is currently married to her third husband and is a mother of four. And as you know, I truly am the brains behind the most successful brand of M&Ms. Life's a horror show sometimes. A lot happened on Desperate Housewives. Unfortunately, the fictional characters weren't the only ones to go through the horrors of life. We know Stephen Culp as Bree's husband Rex. We've seen him on Grey's Anatomy, Scream Queens, Arrow, How to Get Away with Murder, and American Horror Story 1984. He is a father of two. One of the actor's half-sisters, Catherine, was murdered in 2006, along with her husband and their two daughters, aged 9 and 4. Two men were convicted for the horrendous crime. One of them was executed by lethal injection, and the other is serving three life sentences without possibility of parole. Ugh. Kyle McLaughlin is a family man. Some things just make us appreciate our loved ones more. Take Kyle McLaughlin, for instance. Time goes when you're having fun. The star of Twin Peaks played Bree's second husband Orson in seasons three through six of Desperate Housewives. 
His son Callum was born in 2008, and McLaughlin quit Housewives in 2010 to spend more time with him. The actor did return as a guest star for the show's final two seasons. McLaughlin appeared in How I Met Your Mother, Portlandia, The Good Wife, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And of course, he reprised his role as Dale Cooper in Showtime's Twin Peaks revival in 2017. Jesse Metcalf's Ladder to Fame Jesse Metcalf rose to fame thanks to his role as hot gardener John Rowland in the first season of Desperate Housewives. The actor almost didn't get the role, as another guy was cast and even shot the unaired version of the pilot. However, the original John didn't have much on-screen chemistry with Ava Longoria. It didn't seem realistic that her character would be tempted to cheat on her husband with that actor. But it all changed once Metcalf was cast. The day Jesse walked in, everybody's mouth dropped. He has sexual energy oozing out of his pores, Longoria recalled. That is my thing. Metcalf went on to star in John Tucker Must Die and the TV show Dallas. In 2007, the guy entered a drug rehabilitation facility, citing alcoholism as the reason. In the beginning of 2020, Jesse split from longtime fiancé Cara Santana. They've been together for 14 years. During the current self-isolation lockdown, the couple chose to self-isolate together, with the actor living in the guest house. Well, when the intrigues and calamities of real life start getting on our nerves, we can always escape to the alternative world of Wisteria Lane. Oh my god, you're serious? Which Desperate Housewives season is your favorite? 